chain, they got the rolling. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty huge car. <clears throat> Damn. That's nice. Damn. Damn, that red is hella nice. Yeah. Huh? 140. And the seats are pretty nice because like it's the King Day Daytona, so I guess it's like rare. Damn. 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 Chintella dark. This the red color is so nice. I don't know if it really comes off on camera, but it's like this ruby looking color. We're gonna have one of these. Mark my word. Hellcat's pretty nice too. King Daytona, I don't know much about it though. Rowey. Can never go wrong. I don't think I've ever been this close to a Rolls Royce before. I happened to notice the Hellcat. And I said we gotta get in here after ordering food. 200 bands. Here we are again. I think this is maybe tried three, three days in a row. Don't have that much hope because the car was not unlocking without the key being put in. So I'm thinking it lost whatever charge it might've had yesterday. Another day, another try. Plugged it in and it literally dropped two bars immediately. We just went up one bar for some reason. Now we're here visiting these cars. I barely started the return for the louvers for the side. So I'm going to send that back one of these days. Once I figure that all out, need to fix the louver. As you guys could say, tell that it is rusting pretty bad. Lamborghini, I thought about washing it. Not really sure. The weather's okay. But it, I'm pretty much uh, going to store this inside the garage. As you guys know, this car has only been in the garage one time. And I was just keeping it there and not really storing it. But I think we're officially going to put the Lamborghini in the garage for storage. And we'll be driving the Mustang for weeks to come. And the Mustang at this point, putting inside my license plates off the M5. We're keeping those M5 plates until... I get plates for the 2024 Mustang and then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put the plates that used to be on the M5 on this GT instead. So that's what we're pretty much waiting on. Still have not gotten my uh, plates yet. I still have the temp ones on and yeah, once I get the official ones, we'll sort that out. Right now I'm putting this dog in the Mustang, trying to open it up and yeah, we'll have one in the Lambo that's obviously a little broken and then we'll have one in the mustang i was originally going to replace the one in the lambo but i was like why not just put this one in the mustang especially if i'm actually going to be driving the mustang for a while probably before i switch back to the lambo just don't look at it here we are with the cars and it's time for a little video and a gas run with both of them.
I'm already having a blast. I'll tell you that much. That shit's funny. gas and it's time to head home I'm not sure how much I spent but I think it was about a hundred and fifty bucks maybe a few dollars less but yeah my dad seems to like the Mustang especially the exhaust so to be honest I actually have no idea where my dad's at I mean I only left like 10 15 seconds before him and uh, yeah I don't see him anywhere on the road so I'm not sure where he ended up Finally back home. Time for the Lambo to go into the garage. And with that, we are officially done and the Lambo is in the garage. Cat literally be running to my room faster than I do. My dad ended up saying that he actually likes it so much that he would consider getting rid of his just to buy a 24 GT. And it is a lot of fun, I gotta say. To be honest, I've spent pretty much the entire day working on content to the point that I actually forgot that the Mustang was actually charging over here, even though just an hour ago I did see it once we were moving the cars, but here goes nothing. Damn, we came very close that time. Here we are with the cars. As you guys know, we brought the Lambo in today. I'm actually going to be pulling it out, washing it real quick, and then bringing it back in and covering it. And yeah, that's probably the most protection <laughs> Lamborghini has gotten in a very long time. As you guys could tell, it is dirty. And considering it will be probably sitting here for the next month or so, I thought it would be reasonable to at least have it be super clean. Let's open this up. I know a lot of you were concerned that I was turning on the car with the garage door closed. But when I do that, I do open the garage door within like five, 10 seconds of turning on the car. So, but thank you for being concerned. Start up perfectly fine. It was actually probably the best startup it's had in quite some time. As you guys know, it's been hesitating lately, but I think today, since I turned it on yesterday, I turned it on today. I don't think I turned it on the day before that, but maybe I did. So it actually turned on perfectly fine with zero hesitation. We got everything ready, and now it's time to just pull out the Lambo. Got the hose ready, got the bucket, towels, everything ready. And yeah, let's get started. Hopefully I can get this done in like 20 minutes, maybe at most, and head back inside to work on other stuff. Cars are finally ready. Our Lamborghini's ready for the wash. Mustang's not actually getting washed since it's sitting outside. And probably going to get rained on. Got it all soaked up. Fortunately, it's still pretty early morning, so it's not warm outside at all. So I don't have to rush to rinse the car. So I'm about to rinse it real quick and I think we'll be done. Car is pretty much all clean now. Just need to dry it. Thought I would open the trunk so I could freaking get out the leaves but I realized that 
due to the spoiler and everything being heavy the struts can't hold it up but i might try to dig out leaves to the extent i can like the ones over here opened the frunk and it looks like we have a decent amount of leaves here we even got the soap over there from the wash car is finally clean there is some dust already landing on the car from the freaking trees so i'm gonna quickly take it inside and then put the car cover on a little later and with that the mission is officially complete and ignore that obviously the lambo's inside now i'm here pretty much just to get the car cover put it on the lambo and yeah we'll just go from there i do need to check whether the other mustang starts but i'll probably do that later on uh after i watch my game i don't think there's any reason to try any sooner than that obviously it's been having issues um even on a full day's charge so i'll probably let it charge for another few hours and i'm sure it's still charging as we speak for some reason i've noticed that the car i'm not sure if it's um not sure what's going on but basically the battery or the self-starter keeps its charge so as you guys saw yesterday and as i noticed earlier today as well it you know as soon as you plug it in the battery drops from like four bars to two bars so it cuts in half and then after that it pretty much maintains the charge at two bars so yesterday charged for like over five hours i think and it still had the two bars that it had at the beginning as soon as i plugged it in it dropped from four bars to two bars then it went to three bars for some weird reason within seconds and then it had two bars over five hours later and then today it's been plugged in, I think, for about three to four hours already. And when I plugged it in, it went from four bars to two bars, which, you know, four bars being 100 percent. And it's still operating when it it actually starts beeping. So I know that it's working and it's still charging the car. And if I went over there, I'm assuming it'll still be at two bars. But regardless, here we have the car cover. And I guess I'll see you guys in a second. I don't know what all these straps are for, but it's getting a little inappropriate. Got the car cover on. And it looks pretty decent. Obviously, I got this particular color because it was supposed to match with the M5 interior. And one thing that I've noticed with any car cover is the fact that doesn't cover all the way in the rear because of the spoiler so that's always a little amusing to me that we have some exposure on the sides it goes nothing and there we go guys I actually got in and the light was on and everything unlike the other day or yesterday I don't think either one of them were on so I try to quickly hop in and turn on the car because obviously I don't want any, any energy uh, used on the, all the lights that turned on. So I was like, let me just get this shit started as soon as possible. Literally a perfect example of why you should try, try again when you fail. As you guys could tell, just took the key out obviously but this is another day of the mustang running we jumped it yesterday probably gonna turn it on every day so we don't run into any issues just got home decided not to record the drive or anything since i'm a little under the weather but look who we have waiting for me over here staring directly at the car and he seemingly wanted to come along with me because he did follow me up and down the stairs up to the point that i ended up leaving and he was waiting at the door the back door when i left there's a little cat that looking at me. Another day. As you guys may or may not be able to tell, it is raining out here. But let's check out the cars. Or I guess the car, because Lamborghini's inside. 
and I probably need to turn on the other Mustang today as well since I didn't turn it on yesterday but have been turning it on every day uh, since we jump started it today we do have a few things in mind for the Mustang I might actually get the Mustang rear wheels mounted on today I'm not 100% sure um i didn't buy actual tires but we might be going to the tire shop to see if they have anything that would be able to fit and that would be maybe uh, temporary tires until we get um, more expensive legit tires for the car did work out something with hre so i know what i would do for the front but i'm not going to order it just yet because i'm trying to get everything situated financially might get coyote emblem for the front grille because i, I really don't like the way the grill is and you know so we might do that and maybe um black out the emblem that it already has and i'm getting the license plate that used to be on the m5 and originally these were on the c63 then they got moved to the m5 eventually and now they're actually going on the mustang so i'm getting that situated today because we did get the new plates so we are going to basically exchange those new plates with the ones that used to be on the m5 so that's getting done today so tire mount um coyote emblem license plates and there was one other thing Oh, I think I might get K&N um, air intakes for this car or air filters. Not really sure. I looked at them last night and I think they're only like 150 for a set. So not horrible when you're paying Lamborghini and freaking BMW prices for other stuff. So definitely not bad. So I might be getting those to increase the power while we wait for the supercharger to arrive. As you guys saw, we did end up switching the plates out. So now M5 or C63 plates are officially going on the Mustang. And my dad is going to shops after work to figure out the tire situation to see if we could get that worked out. Not sure if we would go today or tomorrow to get the wheels switched out in the scenario that somebody does have tires in stock because i am looking for uh something very specific sizing wise here we are with the lambo and yeah let's see uh what this toolbox is looking like need a flathead screwdriver actually realize that i need to switch out the frame as well so i'll be getting that from my room and as you guys know we are putting the supercar plates that were originally on the c63 taking it quite literally off the wall finally done in with the new and out with the old here we are with this mustang other mustangs loaded with the wheels and we should make a shot at trying to get it done today